in my last video I was talking about my six massive, intense, unbreakable rules when dating Indonesian women. And in this video I want to hammer home one specific rule which is uh, the rule of don't throw cash at girls. This is the topic of today's video. Don't throw cash at strangers, at girls which you don't really know. But before I dive into this, I want to repeat my six massive, intense, unbreakable rules when dating Indonesian women slash Southeast Asian women. Rule number one, don't throw cash at these girls. That includes no gifts, no handbags, no phones, no clothes, no dresses, no fancy resorts, no fancy restaurants or even fancy traveling, you know. That's my first rule. Rule number two, don't send any money. I don't send any money whatsoever and what, whatever drama this girl will, will come up with, I don't care. I will not be impressed by that. I do not send any money. Rule number three, I do not let money or my money be the solution to her problems, okay? Rule number four, uh, I do not take ownership of her problems uh, because if you take ownership of her problems that most likely will include some form of you know giving her money, sending her money because yeah uh, you let money be the solution. Rule number five, don't date any bar girls and rule number six is stick to these rules. I stick to these rules. These are my six massive intense unbreakable rules. So if you want to know more about them go watch my previous video. But I want to add one more rule to this. Uh, I have a seventh rule actually, a bonus rule so to speak and this rule goes like this. Don't do anything you wouldn't do in your home country. I actually explained it in previous videos as well but this is actually also one massive rule I apply. I do not do any stupid or silly things I wouldn't do when dating in Germany for example. Okay, But let's go uh, right into this uh, topic of today. Don't, why you should and why you don't need to throw cash at, at strangers. By the way, these six or seven rules I just gave you um, they apply for, I call them the lightweight relationships. Yeah? This means um, relationships which are easygoing. Uh, when, you own, when you know the girl only for one or two months or three months, four months, something like that. Lightweight relationships, nothing serious, no, no serious relationship, you know, no long-term relationship because if you uh, enter into a very serious relationship, if you have established trust and these kind of things, then the rules will change. You will have different rules. You will have different dynamics. So again, these rules um, apply to these easygoing relationships because you have to be very careful, especially in the beginning, because the girl is a stranger to you. She is a stranger, even you don't want to believe it, even you think you know her already because you chat every day 30 minutes or one hour on the video, in the video chat, right? But uh, that, that is, uh, that's, that's not correct, yeah? Uh, you're dreaming something up. So, I, of course, was also guilty of this mistake to throw cash at girls. I can tell you many stories and I, I was stupid, I was silly, you know, I was falling for these traps but um, the problem was with me and of course I asked myself the question why did I do this, you know, what is the reason uh, that we throw money at these girls, you know, and the reasons most likely are, yeah, because we, we have the, the strong urge to be um, the rescuer. Or I was thinking that, you know, I thought I maybe need to rescue the girl from an imagined distressed situation. 
I felt like I needed to save her, you know. I felt like I needed to fix her problems, you know, like, so, you know, coming back to this, uh, I took ownership of her problems. Why? I don't know. Probably this is how we men tick, you know, we have this savior gene in us. We want to put on the fixing cap, you know, we want to fix problems, we want to find solutions. This is just in our genes. We want to come across as competent, you know, and maybe also we want to come across as generous, you know. We want to save the little poor princess, you know, and um, this is also uh, how men actually derive their sense of self from, you know, like being incompetent, uh, oh, yeah. sorry, being competent, but actually by doing all these things, you are actually incompetent, you know. So, um, and that's what I thought, you know, many, many years ago. So. You can boil it down to this. Actually, I created a problem in my mind. I thought this girl is suffering from an issue, from a, pro from a problem, but I created that in my mind. So I, I came up with the solution for a problem which, doesn't, which did not even exist, you know, because it was just only in my mind. I thought, oh, this poor little girl, I need to help her or what. I'm obligated to do something. No, it was just in my mind. So you don't need to come up with the solution if there's no problem in the first place, right? You, th you have to think about this also. If you are inclined uh, to uh, uh, pull out your wallet and uh, just throw a, a cash at her, yeah? And, you know, I also was thinking, yeah, maybe, and this, I know some other guys think the same way, you know, who come uh, from Western countries to Indonesia, and they uh, meet these girls, have a good time, and then they think, oh, maybe, you know, I leave her some cash at the end and this and that. And why, what is the motivation behind this, you know? Um, yeah, uh, my motivation was something like, yeah, uh, maybe she could use the money, you know? And it sounds or sounded uh, like a very uh, rational argument, right? She, she of course, can use the money, right? But you know, we all can use money at any given time, at any given moment, even me, yeah? If you ask me now, hey Marcel, do you wanna have $200? Of course I take it, you know? Even I don't need it so desperately, but I wouldn't say no. So I think that's not an argument. Yeah, the girl might need the money. We all need money, okay? And um, we all can use money. So this is what I make, what I want to make very clear here. So this was kind of a, of a misleading thought, you know. Um, it seemed to, it seemed to be like this that uh, I wanted to give her cash, but I just needed to find a proper excuse under under any circumstances. I needed to come up with an excuse just to hand over hand over the money because I, yeah, I wanted to be seen as competent as, you know. And, and then some other things I will talk about in a minute. So, um, unless the girl, of course, starts to talk about money or money problems or money issues, or unless the girl is starting to insinuate certain uh, money issues, uh, then you have to be careful, okay? When, when, when the girl starts to insinuating certain things, you know, talking about uh, money problems, uh, any kind of stories she might come up with, you know, like uh, she needs to buy medicine for her father, medicine for her kids, uh, anything. Uh, these girls can be very creative to come up with certain reasons. Uh, unless this is happening, uh, you, because that's a red flag, you know, so unless that is happening, I think you don't need to, you, you have to look f for the fault I inside yourself, yeah. Uh, but of course, if a girl starts to insinuate something or talks about money and money problems or even starts crying and makes a big drama, that's a big red flag. Then you know already that that's a scammer, most likely. The only time I remember when uh, I, on a regular basis, supported a, a girl with, uh, with a, a certain amount of money was my previous girlfriend. Uh, that was the girl I uh, was together for several years. So it was a 
serious relationship. We knew each other for many years already. We trusted each other. She was a good girl. And uh, her mom at the time was, um, she had a medical condition and she needed to travel from uh, Sumatra. Sumatra is in Indonesia. She needed to travel from Sumatra to Malaysia. Uh, and for her special treatment and of course that was expensive you know and uh, my previous girlfriend told me about this issue and i said come on hey i will support uh, you and your mom with that you know so i uh, i tried to remember i think it was about 300 dollars i sent every month for a period of maybe two or three or four months every month to my uh, girlfriend at the time to just support her mom with the medical treatment, you know? And that was a real issue. And I remember my girlfriend was, my previous girlfriend, she was suffering from that, you know, because she worked overseas in the Middle East at the time, and her mom was um, in Indonesia. You can imagine the stress uh, she was under. So um, you also can now clearly identify and see that it was a complete different situation and circumstance, you know. It was a real serious reason. I was really happy to help out. So that was the only time when I regularly helped out financially, you know. But it was a long-term um, relationship, you know. It was a serious relationship. Again, coming back to the motivations why men tend to uh, be so quick with open opening their wallets uh, especially to strangers to to girls who they uh, don't know in the beginning um you can consider it a kind of uh, a form of bribing actually you know i can only speak for myself but uh, i thought you know if i help her out with money uh, then um, then uh, they will like me more you know yeah, that was my, my thinking at the time. I thought that way. Um, but here comes the big insight, I find. Um, she, don't, she doesn't owe you anything. She doesn't owe you a thing. If you uh, give her cash, if you pay her a new mobile phone, if you take her out for dinner in a fancy restaurant, if you pay for her, traveling or whatever don't make this mistake i made this mistake you know i thought it's like a deposit i do you know or it's like if and I, I was expecting a form of reciprocation right but that's a mistake that's a big logical fallacy yeah this stranger this girl which you barely know she is not a deposit account yeah she's a human being of course but don't make the mistake that you just by paying for her wants and needs, especially her wants, you know, uh, that, that she owes you anything. She, she owes you nothing. Yeah. So don't expect that you can bribe her into the bedroom and things like that, or you can bribe her for her feelings for love or, or that kind of thing. So these girls, they don't owe you a single thing. So there is no you don't please don't expect any reciproca reciprocation yeah um or anything else um so again that goes back to rule number seven don't do things you wouldn't do uh when you date in your home country and i know when i would date in germany right now i would not um pay this I would not pay for this lady or for this girl. I wouldn't pay for her phone. I wouldn't pay her phone bill. I wouldn't pay for new clothes. Yeah, I might take, I might have the restaurant bill or the Starbucks bill, but I certainly would not even pay for her taxi ride home. And I wouldn't take her out for a fancy vacation if I just know her for a few weeks. I wouldn't do it if I would be dating in Germany. So. This is what I was thinking about uh, and then now I apply that kind of common sense rule also when dating in Asia. So that, uh, what I, that is what I wanted to hammer home again here today very clearly um, because uh, I know uh, there are guys out there who, um, who are practicing this, you know. 
and in some form or the other but in my opinion this is not necessary and in my opinion this is a mistake because you actually condition the girl also you know if you always give her money if you always support uh, then you kind of or even worse you buy her gifts and presents then you, you you condition this girl in the beginning in the first time it's okay maybe the second time but your third fourth time she gets kind of uh, uh, used to it you know so you actually create expectations in her mind and when you continue doing this um, she not only will have expectations on you she she will actually feel entitled for your financial support and she would feel entitled that you buy her stuff and clothes and phones and bags and stuff like that because you started this whole game in the first place you know girls are smart you know they figure things out very quickly if this is your weakness and they sense that they are smart girls if they sense that you are a weak guy and try to bribe her into doing something showing her love or giving you sex or whatever or uh, pre I don't know pretending to be the trophy girlfriend you're looking for then some girls are very smart and they will take advantage of you you know and you don't even know it you know they play that game uh, because they need money of course like I need money and you also need money we all want money we need money you know so that's what I wanted to uh, share with you today so there is no need to give any money to lend any money to leave her any money or to send her any money um, when she is still a stranger to you so uh, that means when she is uh, someone you only know through uh, uh, online uh, not online dating but through an online connection yeah through video chats that's even the worst thing wouldn't even trust her but even if you have visited uh, or met this girl in person physically after two or three months it's still too early to start to really trust you know so in my opinion it takes at least six months of physical dating on a regular basis to really learn about the person and uh, are they consistent with their behavior and their character right so that's just my advice uh, you can do with that whatever you want but I wanted to talk about this again because I find it very important uh, because we men we tend to kind of uh, um, because the way we tick the way we are wired internally you know uh, this is uh, dangerous and this is very risky this is also what I was talking about in my previous video this is where the risk lies the risk lies within us and not so much actually with the so-called scammer you know the girls they figure out pretty quickly if you have a weakness you know and which which is basically your own personal risk and then they will take advantage they go fool in you know like an investor who spots a great opportunity she will go in the full board you know and then she will take advantage of you not all of the girls but a lot of them you know you have to be very careful so and that uh, video uh, is here to help you to think about it again and uh, come to your own conclusions okay uh, i'm looking forward to your comments let me know what you think about it um, have you done these mistakes have you acted this way um, or even worse uh, are you dating a scammer at the moment uh, who is just asking constantly for money or for this and that do you need to cover for all her wants uh, I don't know let me know in the comment section I'm looking forward to, to uh, discuss this and then yeah I'm gonna see you in uh, one of my next videos take care bye bye